Don't do this at home. Today guys, we're going after the Herrera Esteli Miami Edition. Bearing the name of the master blender at Drew Estate, Willie Herrera. Another creation of his that I am very excited to try. It's been in my humidor resting for a while. Now it's time to go ahead and give it a review. Sorry for the lack of reviews lately. I have been smoking plenty of cigars. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that that's true. And I came to the conclusion yesterday that the more cigars I smoke, the more I enjoy smoking cigars. Now it might sound silly, but it seems like every cigar that I smoke is just better than the last one. I don't know why. <clears throat> So, with that in mind, I can't wait to smoke this because I am really in the mood to smoke a cigar right now. So let's get started. The wrapper is a Ecuadorian Habano, binder in Ecuadorian Sumatra, fillers from Nicaragua and the Dominican Republic. This size is called the Miami Edition, which is a 5.75 by 48. The appearance is really good. I can't really see any flaws whatsoever in this wrapper. It is just a beautiful nut brown. Seems nice and tight. Double cap at the top. Plain and simple band that just tells you what it is. I love that. Hmm. Silky tobacco aroma off the wrapper this thing. I would be remiss if I didn't mention because everything I read online about the cigar seemed to mention it, so I better mention it in this, is that this particular cigar is rolled in two bar, or in two bar, however I choose to mispronounce it. Anyways, long and short of that is, is that when they're rolling the cigar, uh, each individual filler leaf is rolled into a tube, essentially, and then they're bunched all together after that. <clears throat> Standard cigar, they just kind of stack the leaves and then bunch it together. Go watch some videos. You really need to see this because every time I watch a cigar being rolled, I'm just in appreciation of the artistry and the craft that goes into it. It's fantastic. So yeah, so do a Google and uh, and find a video of somebody rolling a cigar and two bar because it's it's really impressive. So anyway, so they just roll each uh, each of the filler leaves into a tube and then they roll all those together. Then they bind them. Then they put the wrapper on. So just an extra. A uh, few steps that really ensure the most perfect draw that you could possibly have and a nice clean burn. So definitely going to be looking for that in this cigar uh, as we move, move forward. Let's go ahead and get a cut. Alright guys, my first cut was terrible. I had to take a second one. The second one's nice and clean. The draw as expected is perfect. The flavor, even off of the just the pre-light draw, is, is really good. It's, it's dark chocolate, raisins, and spice. <clears throat> so just a mouthful of flavor before I even got the thing lit up. Fantastic. Let's get lit. All right, guys, just a, just a fantastic start for this thing. Still a little bit of pepper in the back of my throat, likely just from the light, but I do feel inclined to mention that. The flavor right off the bat though is phenomenal. There's caramel on the draw, and actually throughout the finish as well. But the first thing I noticed about this thing is that it was caramely. <clears throat> Aside from that, there's a toast, there's a toasted flavor in there. It's either toasted almonds or just toasted bread, I'm not sure. It's just a very toast flavor. Uh, see how many times I can say that word, right? Uh, other than that, I'm not sure what else we have going on here other than just this exquisite draw. Um, somewhere in the medium body range at the moment. And uh, not quite as much smoke output as I was expecting. It's a Drew Estate cigar. I'm supposed to be dying in a cloud of smoke here, um, but we'll see if that changes later on. So I'm going to keep smoking it and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. There's all that smoke I was looking for. It's not as smoky as some that I've had from Drew Estate, but 
It does have a pretty good smoke output now. Would you look at that ash and burn? Just phenomenal. One other thing I should mention about uh, the rolling method into bar is that it typically allows for a much longer holding on ash. It just kind of adds those, uh, adds a little bit of strength to the, the ash of the cigar. So typically you're going to uh, get a little bit longer holding on ash on there. So we'll see. Um, uh, I'll try and get a picture of this one if it gets pretty long and uh, look for that on my Instagram. I'll, I'll post it on there. Flavor-wise, kind of not really all that changed. Um, it's a little creamier than it was initially. Other than that, we're sticking with those flavors I talked about before. Caramel, nice toasty flavor, and just a little bit of creaminess now. Fantastic draw, as I said before. Look at that burn and ash. Um, great cigar so far. Just absolutely great. So, I don't really see that, I don't know. We'll see where it goes from here. Well guys, I think I'm right around the halfway point. Second third developed nicely. Addition of earth. And the whole cigar seemed to get a little bit sweeter. I didn't notice that it was particularly sweet at first. <clears throat> Definitely a, a, a sweet tobacco flavor in the second third. Um, the draw flavors, a little bit of earth. Throughout the finish, there is a little bit of cedar and um, Still caramel, really great. <clears throat> I love a, a, a cigar that has some natural caramel flavor to it. Um, especially something that's in like the medium to full range. Sometimes you'll see that in like the the, the milder cigar, cigars with like a uh, like a Connecticut shade. I've smoked a few that had that nice caramel flavor, but this one still has a heavier body, a lot more like full flavored cigar that has that. So it's a really nice addition when you with that earth and the cedar. Um, the draw, burn, ash, everything's fantastic. No complaints whatsoever. I'm gonna check it one more time before I put it down. Hated to see the end of this one. Just starting to heat up. Well guys, that was another fantastic cigar. Start over from the beginning. Started off with just immediately tons of great flavor. Some caramel, a nice toasted flavor, almond, toasted bread type flavor in there as well. And uh, let's see here, what else? That was really it right there at the beginning. Uh, right away we had a perfect draw. The burn started out and just finished all the way through the cigar, just exquisite, just, I mean, as, as clean of a burn as I think I've ever seen. Absolutely flawless. Second third, we saw a little bit of earth. The whole cigar kind of sweetened up a little bit. Um, there was still that nice toasted kind of caramely flavor there. We saw some earth and some cedar as well. Final third, a little bit more earth. That sweetness kind of taken away. That nice caramel flavor right there at the kind of the end of the finish, all the way through the cigar. Uh, more wood notes in that final third as well. Uh, kind of a, a nice, almost like a sweet cedar. Um, I'm gonna have to add that one to my list of, uh, of favorites because it was just consistent all the way through, good flavor, good construction, uh, really a great cigar. Um, I did a little more reading as I was smoking it. It is a limited edition cigar. Um, the 2006, there, there's, there's still some out there, um, but you'll probably have to look. There's a few retailers online that still sell them. Um, there's another, I'm not sure if it's just a, a, a relabeling, but I think it's a new edition of the, the Miami Herrera Stelling. Um, not sure what the difference is because I didn't do enough reading because I was... Anyways, um, just a, a, a side note, if you want to get one of these cigars, go find them. So, um, very impressed with this cigar, very happy. This one was another gift from a friend of mine, um, so thank you very much. I really enjoyed this cigar, uh, really just perfect for this evening. So um, that's, uh, that's all I got for you guys. Um, if you're looking for cigars, I recommend that you check out Cigar Page. The link is in the description below. Other than that, happy smoking.